Hi friends, very good morning. And I am Dr. Himmi Chanaya, Vice Principal of Sattagiri College of Engineering, Bangalore, and former Principal, Dr. Shukumar Mahaswami College of Engineering, Bangalore. Friends, in today's session, we are going to have a problem on a triangular prism which is being cut by a vertical section plane and we are required to draw the development of the lateral surface of that. So now it's my duty to show you how to place the object. Friend, this is a triangular prism. The triangular prism has got a dimension of the side as 30 mm and the axis is 60 mm. The height is 60 mm long. And it is resting with one of the shorter edge parallel to VP or the wall or nearer to it. It could be a rectangular piece nearer to VP or a shorter edge nearer to VP. It is one and the same. They have not specified the distance and it is our choice to have any comfortable distance or a convenient distance. Now, let me draw the front view and top view of the solid when it is resting with one of the rectangular face parallel to VP and nearer to A. So mark XY line. So mark XY line and then mark VPHP to indicate the first angle projection. Mark a triangle here. A triangle indicating the top view of the triangular prism where one of the shorter edges say this is AB parallel to VP and nearer to it the other marking is the bottom side A1 this is C1 this is B1 and each of these side will measure 30 mm let me draw the print view of the solid print view I told you it is going to be a rectangle like this and the center of this will be something here and the point of intersection of the bisectors of these two sides we call this as O comma O1 O is the center of the top face O1 is the center of the bottom face exactly in the center you are going to have this the height of this object or the solid is given to be 60 mm and let me draw that mark the dimension and mark here the print view as A dash, C dash, B dash. O dash comes here, center of the top face, like that. A1 dash, B1, C1 dash, and this point is B1 dash. So you have got the print view. The axis O dash, O1 dash is being covered by the vertical edge which is in front of you. That is the vertical edge which covers the axis O1. So I have given prominence to the 8cc here. When you got the front view and the top view of the solid. So let us write the development assuming it is not cut by any section. So the triangular prism has got three rectangles on its lateral surface. Hence I am going to mark here three rectangles having width is equal to 30 and the height is equal to 60 millimeter. So here in this figure, the overall height is 60 and this is 30 plus 30 plus 30, it is 90. So let me not mark any A, B, C here. And before I mark A, A1, B1, etc., let me mark the section plane. Friends, here the section plane is given to be vertical. The section plane is vertical. That means, in the section plane, it is cutting the object like this. So, any section plane which is vertical is seen as a line in the top view. It may be inclined to VP or it is parallel to VP. So, a vertical section plane is parallel to VP and it is cutting the solid at what distance? From the center, the axis O1 at a distance of 10 mm, generally assuming that the observer is standing here, will mark a distance of 10 mm from here 
and mark a line. So the section plane, the cutting plane is seen as a line in the top view. So I am going to mark the section plane here at a distance of 10 mm. So from here I will just mark 10 mm and draw the section plane. So two lines, dot line. So I will call this a section plane S1, S1. And this distance I will mark it as 10 mm. So I have taken a vertical section plane represented by S1, S1 at a distance of 10 mm from the axis O, O1. Now friends, before you mark A, B, C, etc. here, I told you in the previous session that you have to just check whether any of the vertical edges or the vertical edge means the longer edges of the solid are removed by a section plane. If you see friends, here the longer edge CC, here it is removed because I am going to retain this part, larger part and this part, bottom part is removed here. So, I have to start the development from the edge or from the longer edge which is removed. That means if this is C, I have to start the development from C and it end with C. If the point is B, I have to start from B and the ending line will be BB1. So, I have to commence the development compulsorily from CC. So, I will mark C here, C, then comes A, then B, then again C. For the bottom, by convention, this is going to be C1, or oh, this should be capital, please. So, C, A, B, C. So, last two should be same. C1, this is going to be A1 below A, B1 below B, C1 below C. So, this is the development we are going to draw. So, this has to be marked as 30 mm and the height of the solid, same 60. I will draw the uh, development adjacent to the front view. So, this height will be very obviously equal to 60 mm. In all the prisms, the height has to be marked and also have to show the width. All are same. Now friends, after the lower part, this is removed, let me darken the portion that is being retained for the purpose of drawing development. So, I am going to draw this or show this draw and you can see very well, the object is cutting the edge CB at the top, C1, B1 at the bottom at this point. Likewise, the edges AC and the edge a1, C1 are cut here. So totally the object is cut at four points, two at the top face, CB and CA, two at the bottom face, C1, B1 and C1, E1. Then how to locate them in the development? Friends, I told you, here, whatever the measurements you have made in the development, they are all two sizes or two dimensions. Now, I have commenced the development from C because CC is totally removed and I have to mark the two points on the top face here and two points on the bottom face. Let's see where do you get them. So here if you take up this AC where the section plate is cutting the shorter edge at the top, just take this measurement on capital AC nearer to C mark this dimension on capital AC nearer to C. I have got a point here. Remember, this distance is a two length that is marked here. So likewise, for the bottom surface also, C1, A1, same dimension you should take and mark that. So friends, you have got two points, one for the top edge and one for the bottom edge, that is one on AC, and other one is on A1C1. Likewise, the shorter edge at the top is cut at this point. These two dimensions are the same since the section plane is horizontal. So I am going to mark on CB nearer to C this distance. On CB nearer to C. So 
the distance whatever you mark here is same as this similarly for the bottom face we have the same dimension c1 c1 b1 for the bottom face friends you have got four points after getting four points as per the rule all the points so open have to be joined by straight line so i am going to join this by a straight line this by a straight line this by a straight line and finally the bottom line by a straight line after getting those points let us number them i think numbering can be done either in the clockwise direction or in the anti clockwise direction as you please so let us mark it as 1 this point as 2 This is point number three, and this is point number four. So I got four points. After marking them there, you have to transfer them to the top view here. So one and two will come on the AC in the top. That is, this is one, and this is this is one. This is two. Below two you got three, and this is. Four, four points you got. Two for the top face, two for the bottom face. Now this part is complete to some extent. The total development is not yet complete. Friends, now all these uh, pyramids and the prism have got the edges. So generally we show them by dot lines. And if you see the figure here, friends, the edge BB, the edge AA. They are existing means in the portion retain B B is fully available A is also available so I am going to show this A A by a full line and B B by another full line. Friends, you can see whatever the development I have shown in color here is the development of this part P. I will say development of P. This part, the part that is retained, we we'll call it as part P. And here you can just see, friends, all the constructed lines you have to retain here, like what the line CC, the line C1 C1 here, and this are to be retained. But they should be shown by very thin lines, just visible to you. And now you also have a provision to check whether the solutions you have got at the development is right or wrong. How to check it, friends? See, in the part that is being retained, you have got A A visible, retained B B, retained the edge C C is removed totally. That is, this is removed totally, and hence this does not exist. This C C one doesn't exist. When these are not existing, these connecting lines are also not existing. So the one, this complete rectangle, one A B two. This rectangle will give you the development of the lateral surface of the solid when it is cut by a vertical section plane, and you can say this is the development of the portion P. Friends, I hope all of you have followed this problem. You will have more such sessions to complete lot of problems on pyramids, cubes, cylinder cones, etc. And uh, friends, if you are happy with the presentation that is being made here, do subscribe. inform all your friends tell them and inform them to share thank you very much have a nice day and this is dr m chanaya saying